What up, peoples? I want to talk a little bit about the Fallout 76 beta and my experience with it and why I feel that a lot of the mumbo jumbo coming from the naysayers is really, really over the top. All right, so let's get into it. What's up, peoples? It's your boy, MM2K, back again with another one. This is going to be a short one, um, but can you do me a favor before we get into this one? Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up. So here's the deal, here's the deal. So I'm here because there's been a lot of hoopla and a lot of negativity about the Fallout 76 beta of all things, you know what I mean? This isn't even a full-fledged retail title. Um, and I'm a self-proclaimed Bethesda fanboy, for full disclosure, all right? With that being said, I'm gonna give it to any title or any developer where I think they fell short. Now, in the advertisement of Fallout 76, um, in no way, shape, or form in my mind do I think they were trying to over-hype this thing to the point to where they made it seem like more than what it was. Um, Todd Howard's always a charismatic guy. Pete Hines, you know what I'm saying, he's a real gritty guy. But this thing was always advertised as a new take on the Fallout brand um, for those that love the series, right? They never make this thing seem like it was going to be anything more than that. They've also alluded to that um, in the Fallout presentation during E3. So, generally, if you were not a fan of Fallout, I knew from the get-go that there was going to be nothing in this game that was going to make you a fan of Fallout. This was a new twist on the series um, for the Fallout uh, enthusiasts. But that being said, we have a lot of people that are self-proclaimed Fallout enthusiasts that have played the beta and they have a lot of negative things to say. And I'm here to tell you with my time with the beta, some ex ex extensive time, I spent several hours with it. I'm going to give you my take and tell you why um, what they're saying is over the top and also um, help you better, again, understand what this is. So in order to do that, I want to talk three things. I want to talk the bugs and the smoothness of the game. I want to talk about the, the backlash about the story and the lack of NPCs in this game. And also just, again, sum it all up. What is this game? First, let's talk about the bugs. Okay. so. In my playthrough with the game, I did not experience all these bugs that people are talking about. People are saying that they're running into bugs that are is totally destroying their experience with the game. People, there's all, also the story out here about the, the bug that erases the whole beta for you. and it, I mean, it may exist, but I think this is over the top. Um, I've experienced my several hours of gameplay with this, uh, with the beta since it existed. I had one bug where I was like in the middle of like this event um, and the feral monsters, they, they they were stiff. So they just floated towards me, you know what I mean? And that happened once and then once that happened, that it didn't happen again. Um, so there, I didn't experience the serious frame rate dips except for, again, that same scenario. It just seemed like it was a high impact thing. I had set up all these turrets. I had set up like nine turrets and I was being invaded by these robots, which was, a, it was a cool experience. Um, I had just taken, you you have the ability to take over areas in this game, and I won't give out too much, but um, I took over this area, I had to guard the area against uh, an infiltration of robots and, su and such. I set up all these turrets, and all these turrets were going off at the same time, and those that are familiar with the Fallout game, there's a lot of action going on at the same time, it will dip. So it, it did the typical Fallout dip, you know what I mean? in that scenario but I was fine it lasted for I want to say maybe 10 seconds and then it went away um, and overall because this is a more faster paced fallout game I'm gonna say that it's the most fluid even in the beta form now again I get it that's not saying a lot for a fallout game but because this is fa a faster paced one it is more fluid so next let's let's talk about the story and the whole NPC thing okay so one of the biggest gripes out there that really burns me up is to talk about the lack of NPCs. Now, at first sight and first thought, um, that would be a problem. 
But as you're playing the game, you realize that, hey, the NPCs, the interaction with the NPCs isn't the height, heightened experience of a Fallout game. It's the journey that those NPCs send you on, right? That part of the game is still there. It's not like Fallout had this uh, multi-leveled, <laughs> you know, NPC interaction system. I mean, some choices that you made with the NPCs a lot open up certain options, but that wasn't always the case across the board. So when these people are sitting there talking about they're so dismayed that that's not there, you're focusing on like 5% of the game when the other 95% of the game is the journey that the NPC send you out on. So I mean, everything else is still in the game, the building and all of the newer elements and every and, and, the, and the interaction with the enemies, but there's a lot more enemies, man, I'm telling you. And it's, it's, very bu it's a very busier Fallout, you know, which is cool. So again, I don't get it. The, the, the story aspect of that, to me, that is the most important is still there and it's being told via audio. But again, it's the journey that makes the story of the game. So with that said, what is this game overall in M2K? Well, here's what it is. It's a co-op Fallout. It, it, it gives you a trade-off, though, with the NPCs, as I mentioned earlier. It trades the NPC interaction with the co-op journey. You know what I mean? So that's the trade-off. There's still the storytelling, still places in history to discover, and a lot of man like um, um, buildings to search, K, all type, all that crazy Fallout stuff that really makes the Fallout game is there, and you get to play a co-op. You just do it without the NPC. So that's the trade-off. Again, the N NPC interaction when you want to slow things down, okay, fine. You know. That is a part of the game, but this is a different take on it. This is a new twist on the cult favorite series, and it's not for everybody. I get it. So with all these grunts and these, you know, all, all the, the the negative stuff, I'm really wondering if most of these people that are making these complaints actually fully played the beta. I mean, I know there's people that don't normally play Fallout games that played the beta and was like, I'm bored from this, and I get that because they they're bored from any Fallout game. But again. All of the fundamental parts that make the Fallout experience stick out are there and they've added co-op, they've taken away NPC interaction. So with that said, I, I, if you're a true Fallout fan, not like these Fairweather people out here, if you're a true Fallout fan, from what I've experienced in the beta, it's something that is worth getting engaged in and, and trying out once the full game comes out and I will do that. And once I do do that, I'll give you more insight and more information. But again, it's always best to try things out for yourself. I mean, there's all this doom and gloom. I've heard things from people and most of these people are Fallout haters. And the ones that aren't Fallout haters that had negative things to say, they didn't even play the game, which I, to me is asinine. But with that being said, that's it from your boy MM2K. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment sections below. Like I always tell you, you know what I mean? You can come with me, you can come at me, it don't matter to your boy. But with that being said, hey, look, you like what you heard? If you were one of the people that want to come with me, you know where to find me. I'm on the corner of every boulevard, you know what I'm saying? Hit that, hit the links below to follow me. All right, I do a show, Scram Punk, the TRS, Dirt Griggity, you know who they are. Follow it on this channel. Check out the pntsnetwork.com for more information on that. And last but not least, my brother and the broadband bullies, you know what I'm saying? We we into it, man. We we got the, the podcast, Beast Fire, multiplayer with Z, all that stuff, you know what I mean? And we got that gear. We got the Patreon, Discord, I man. Everything's popping right now. You know what I'm saying? Check out the links below to all that stuff. And as always, don't listen to the naysayers. Again, get your hands on this stuff yourself, and you have a wonderful gaming day.